the Citizenship Amendment Act or CAA has always been a very high stake uh, topic specifically for West Bengal and Assam. But uh, there are multiple surveys, extensive research work so were done by uh, the central government and by several units of the BJP uh, and after that, after the results came in, after the reports were submitted, uh, the government decided to notify this act ahead of the election. Uh, the BJP units working uh, on the refugees, uh, refugee Hindus in West Bengal uh, particularly stressed the need of the implementation of of CAA. Even though the senior opposition leader, including West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, has quest have questioned the uh, timing of the uh, notification, uh, the central agencies and uh, the BJP units who have done their uh, research, who have done their uh, surveys, ground surveys on the act and on the mood of the people, they uh, said that uh, at least uh, seven to eight Lok Sabha seats may have a crucial implication once uh, the act is notified. Uh, in South Bengal, uh, there are at least five Lok Sabha seats which, uh, which may see uh, a very uh, serious uh, political and electoral implication of this uh, implementation of CAA, while in North Bengal there are at least three seats that, that can uh, see certain uh, reactions after this act is uh, coming into force. So uh, in South Bengal, uh, there is this one district called North 24 Pragna. This is a district that is located near the India-Bangladesh border and this district district has um, over 30 assembly segments uh, which is having a settlement of uh, Matua population. Now who are Matuas? Matuas are the Hindu uh, minority refugee communities who uh, started uh, coming to India uh, during partition and post partition. They came from uh, Bangladesh. There were several reason, reasons they, uh, they, they uh, faced religious uh, persecution. Uh, they settled uh, along the India-Bangladesh border in all these districts, specifically in North 24 Pargana and in Nodia. And, uh they became voters because there are several ways to uh, uh, get a voter card and become a voter of uh, that particular assembly segment or uh, constituencies but but they never had the citizenship uh, and uh, there are several rules you know the India uh, saw the central government uh, change ke kept changing their policies uh, about the uh, refugees so there were uh, Nehru Liaquat uh, a pact then uh, Rajiv Gandhi when he became the prime minister he changed the policy policies towards the uh, Hindu refugees and then in 2003 the, when the NDA government uh, came in power the policies, policies were changed yet again. So now this Matua community who of course have the voting rights they vote uh, but they do not have citizenship and this is a very complex uh, issue. Uh, they say that the, the, every time they go to any government office, they go for any uh, educational courses, uh, they uh, uh, want to get their uh, passport uh, done and then the verification process starts and every time they face the citizenship issue. So they they say that they don't want to be Rohingyas who are uh, absolutely stateless, they want their citizenship and uh, through this act they are going to apply and they are going to get their uh, citizenship. Now this uh, population is around 20 percent in uh, the whole uh, of West Bengal and then there are uh, Rajbongsis as I said there are three constituencies uh, in North Bengal which is going to see some sort of reaction uh, post this implementation of uh, CAA. So then they, they are Rajbongsis there is a they are a, 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 um, uh, actually a smaller uh, minority group but they also have they also uh, hold some uh, sort of a, a dominance over the uh, over this these three seats in North Bengal. So uh, Motua and Rajbongshi put together going to uh, go th going to become the deciding factor in five seats in South Bengal and three seats in North Bengal. So this eight seats uh, are going to be high stake seats for the BJP and for Trinamool Congress. Now Mamta Banerjee has said that she is not going to uh, accept any discriminatory uh, law. Why, why this is discriminatory? Because uh, this particular law says that uh, 
Hindu, Parsis, Christians, any anyone who had faced any sort of religious persecution in the uh, neighboring uh, countries may apply uh, for this citizenship. But Muslims are clearly not there, and Muslim uh, Mamata Banerjee for Mamata Banerjee Muslim vote base is a very uh, strong vote base, voter base, and. Uh, uh, after when when this when this uh, caa came to when uh, when the caa actually introduced as a bill in uh, parliament in december 2019 there, there was protest there was outrage across states and uh, following this protest and outrage uh, the government had to put this on hold however this has come we are we have to see how uh, what kind of electoral dividend uh, bjp is going to get out of this if at all and we also have to see how mamata banerjee is going to uh, react to this uh, act